Hello and hi, welcome to YedidiaShofet.net and welcome to Parsha of the Week, Parshat Korach. So you all know this Parsha, this Torah portion deals with a very miraculous event. It was an event in which the ground opened up, the famous earthquake, the fissure. Where does this come from? What's the whole idea of the ground opening up? Of course, they sinned, they did something wrong, but then the ground opened up. What happened to all the other plagues that they have? Where does this come from? So let's backtrack a little bit. There was a fellow by the name of Korach. And Korach, what did he do? He began a testosterone war. Meaning, he began to say that, listen, why, are, why, why do you lead? Why can't we lead? It became a big mess. And after that, it tumbled and tumbled down. But what was his main point of error? His main point of error, when you look into the Parsha, and we see what the wording says it, is Vaikach Korach. And Korach took. It doesn't say Korach and his men. It doesn't say, and the unification of his entire posse. It just says, Vayikach Korach. What is that telling you? It's telling you that only he, only he himself, had a motive in order to create a new leadership. All the 250 people, they also had their own ulterior motives. No one was unified over here. And the fact that no one was unified, they held themselves so high. They were running after something they call Kavod something that, that we call honor. And uh, in the book, The Ethics of Our Fathers, there's something beautiful. It talks about when someone who wants kavod, he wants honor, he has to run away from it, and once he runs away from honor, then what's going to happen? Honor is going to come after him. So what does that mean for us? What does it mean honor is going to come after him? It means that, let me tell you a short story. Rav Simcha Bunim. He was a rabbi which dealt with all the beautiful different questions and ideologies that people used to approach him with. And one day somebody comes over to him and says this exact phrasing. He says, Rabbi, I keep running. I run away. I get no honor. What's the whole idea of, of you running away and getting honor? I don't understand it. He tells him, listen, you know what your problem is? You keep running away from honor, correct? But you keep looking behind you. You keep checking that what's the status, where am I holding? And when you keep doing that, that honor gets frightened and it runs away. That kavod that you're supposed to be getting, it's not for the sake of the kavod in which that you want. The kavod that you are getting is, is the kavod that you deserve. And Korach, he was the kavod that he wanted. It was a kavod that all of them wanted. They wanted that fact of being in the leadership. So where does this come in? With the, with the earthquake eating them. So we know in Judaism, everything is measure for measure. Everything happens because of a reason. For instance, the Egyptians, the reason why that they were in the water and they drowned by Kiryat Yam Suf, by the splitting of the ocean, was by what? By the Red Sea, sorry. is because they threw all the kids, they threw all the little babies in the water. Because of that, that's how they deserve to die. They deserve to die with Mayim. So what, uh, what about us by this earthquake? Where, how do we understand it? It's because when somebody holds himself so high, as if they're in the Shamayim, in the heavens, they're so honorable, the fissure opens up, eats them, and says, you don't even deserve to be standing on dust. You're below that. That was the whole idea behind this. It's how a person perceives himself. When it says, Vayikach Korach, and Korach took, it was showing that, look, I want to be the leader. And someone else was saying, no, 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 I want to be the leader. That was the whole idea behind it. When the earthquake came, it said that, no, 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 none of you will be the leader. Because none of you deserve to be that leader. None of you deserve to have that couple. None of you deserve to have that honor. That was the whole idea of this earthquake and this vision. Because we have to understand and realize that the entire kavod and honor in which that we have for it, or is called an actual self-respect. You give respect to yourself, you give a, an understanding of what your esteem is, but you don't go running after it. Because if not, you're just going to go in that, in that ulterior motive like how Korach had. And that is a slippery slope. And the idea behind this week's parasha is to show you that, look, that if somebody holds himself on top of everyone, in the end, he'll be below everyone. And I want to give you a beautiful bracha for this week and the coming up week, that on Shabbat, Shabbat is a kavoda Shabbat. 
We wear the most beautiful garments. Why do we wear it? We don't wear it in order to show ourselves off on Shabbat. We wear it on Shabbat in order to honor Shabbat. And in the end, when you have that beautiful honor on Shabbat, everyone starts honoring each other. You see how that works out? So I want to wish you a beautiful Shabbat, a beautiful time in Bet Knesset, a beautiful time around your families by the table, and a, of course a beautiful week until I see you next week for Halacha, for Wisdom, and for Parsha of the Week. Hashem Yishmerecha, Hashem Yishmorotcha, and have a beautiful week.